The topic of this video is Violin Plots, new in Stack Graphics 18. A violin plot is a way of summarizing the distribution of a single quantitative sample. It combines a box and whisker plot with a non-parametric density estimator. As an example, I've loaded into the Stack Graphics 18 data sheet a data file called Old Faithful. It contains the duration in minutes of 272 eruptions of the Old Faithful geyser at Yellowstone National Park. A common way to summarize a single column of numeric data is to create a box and whisker plot. I'll create one by going to the plot menu and selecting exploratory plots box and whisker plots, one sample. On the data input dialog box, I'll select the column duration, press OK, and take all the default tables and graphs. Here you see it's created a standard box and whisker plot. If you're not familiar with a box and whisker plot, it's a five number summary of a column of data invented by the famous statistician John Tukey. It consists of a box covering the middle 50% of the observations. There's a vertical line at the median, whiskers down to the smallest observation and largest observation in the sample. Finally, a plus line indicates the location of the sample mean. The most notable feature of this box and whisker plot is the location of the sample median up toward the upper end of the box. This indicates some skewness in the distribution since half of the observations fall between the median and the maximum value while another half fall between the median and the lowest value. However, there are other interesting aspects of the distribution of this data that are hard to see from the box and whisker plot. I'm now going to summarize the data with a violin plot. To do that, I'll go to the top menu to Statlets, Data Exploration, Violin Plot 1 Sample. Again, Duration contains my data. And now you'll see a violin plot, which I'll slide over a little bit to the left. As you can see, the violin plot contains the box and whisker plot I created earlier in the center part of the graph. Above and below the box and whisker plot are estimates of the density function of the observations. They're created using something called a non-parametric density estimator. Now that non-parametric density estimator smooths out the probabilities using an interval of a particular bandwidth. If I change the bandwidth, it will change how much smoothing is applied to the density function. If I get it too small, there'll be too much detail to show me anything useful. If I get it too large, I'll miss interesting aspects of the data. The trick is to get a bandwidth that shows you the most important features of your data sample. What you couldn't see with the box and whisker plot alone was that the distribution of the eruption times of the old faithful geyser is quite bimodal. A lot of eruptions last for about four and a half minutes. A lot of eruptions last for around two minutes. There are very few, relatively few, eruptions lasting three minutes. Strong bimodality that you just could not see from the box and whisker plot. Violin plots are also quite useful for comparing multiple samples. I've loaded into the Stack Graphics data sheet a sample of 130 individuals. We've measured the body temperature and the heart rate of each of those individuals. 
of some interest would be to compare the distribution of temperature and heart rate between the males in the sample and the females. To compare the males and the females, I'm going to go to Statlets on the main menu and choose Data Exploration, Violin Plot, Multiple Samples. It will then ask me whether I have multiple data columns or data encode columns. Multiple data columns would mean that I had the data for males in one column and the data for females in another. That's not what I have here. What I have here are all the measurements for a particular variable in one column and then a code column indicating which individuals are male and which are female. When I press OK, it'll ask me then, where is the data? And I'll start with body temperatures. It'll also ask for level codes, which in this case are contained in the column gender. When I press OK, a multiple violin plot will appear. I'll go ahead and bring the bandwidth down just a little bit. You can see as I do that the distributions remain quite unimodal. The only difference between the females and the males may be a slight shift of the females to a higher mean. If you'd like to compare the distributions of heart rate, I can go back to the data input dialog box and replace temperature with heart rate in the data field. Now you'll see a comparison of the heart rate distributions for males and females. This violin plot is a little bit more interesting because it shows some asymmetry in the distribution of heart rate. You can also see there's a larger offset between the peak of the density function for the females and that of the males. While box and whisker plots by themselves are a useful device, I think a violin plot adds a lot of information.